Welcome back to Universe Mode for the first time on WWE 2K23. Tonight, we kick off a new year filled with new opportunities. After Ilya Dragunov defeated Pete Dunne at WrestleMania to become the Intercontinental Champion, we set sights into crowning a new number one contender. Tonight, an eight-man single elimination tournament begins. Damian Priest meets Montez Ford, plus two of Raw's newest acquisitions in Happy Corbin and Shinsuke Nakamura battle it out. And in your main event, the richest prize in our industry, the WWE Championship is on the line. After Matt Riddle finally put Randy Orton behind him on the grandest stage, he looks to right a wrong from the previous week when he was upset by Sami Zayn. Zayn finds himself with a victory over Riddle, plus being on a winning team at WrestleMania, but can he get the job done when the gold is on the line? It's an all new year of WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. We are live for Monday Night Raw, and it all begins right now. Welcome to an all new Monday Night Raw, where tonight the WWE Championship is on the line for the first time since WrestleMania. The original bro defends his newly won gold against the great liberator, Sami Zayn. That is in your main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but we kick off a whole new season, a whole new year on Universe Mode, a brand new Monday Night Raw with the kickoff to the number one contender, Intercontinental Championship Tournament with the Archer, Damian Priest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Well, before we focus in on this matchup, Damian Priest took to Instagram earlier today and had this to say. What you see right here are two unhappy, unsatisfied, and unappreciated individuals through hours of conversation and consideration. What you see right here is the judgment day. Dijak, sorry pal, but you weren't the right fit for me anymore. With Finn by my side, Raw will be put on notice in no time. The judgment day have arrived. I don't know what to think of this. Finn Balor, formerly on Friday Night SmackDown, drafted to Raw in the draft lottery last week. Damian Priest remains here on Monday Night Raw. His tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic, had got sent to SmackDown. And I guess through the few weeks off, Priest and Balor are together in this new faction called the Judgment Day. I, I'll be honest, we have very little information. Damian Priest has only divulged this earlier today, but Nonetheless, we got to focus because we got an opening contest to get into. And his opponent, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Well, a whole lot to discuss, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the opening matchup in the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship, which will take place over the next number of weeks. There you see the eight men that will participate in the first round. The bracket will go on the next number of weeks leading in to our first Universe Mode live premiere event. That will be Backlash on Sunday night, April the 16th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Of course, Ilya dragging off the Invincible One, defeating the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne back at WrestleMania in February to become the new Intercontinental Champion. And Ilya dragging off already going to be looking for his new number one contender, which again is going to be decided in the midst of this number one contenders tournament. So Montez Ford, one half of the Street Profits, getting a huge singles opportunity tonight. And I want to mention here that as you see, Angelo Dawkins not out here in Ford's corner. And again, Finn Balor not out here in Damian Priest's corner, regardless of their new formation that they call the Judgment Day. Both men barred from ringside for this matchup is here we go. We are kicking things off here on a new year of Monday Night Raw. Such high stakes on this matchup between Ford and Priest. Management wants to make sure this thing's going right down the middle here with such high stakes on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw, episode one. We are kicking off a whole new year here on WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. 
If you missed any of the action that took place over the last 12 months, all the replays, including WrestleMania from February 25th and 26th, are available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And Damian Priest, we got a lot to talk about with this man. You saw that picture of him, as well as the Prince Finn Balor that was posted earlier today on Instagram. Last time we saw Damian Priest was at WrestleMania, WrestleMania Saturday to be exact, when himself and I guess now his former tag team partner Dominic Dijakovic took the loss to Mustafa Ali and Ricochet in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And I guess in the weeks since then, and Dijak moving to SmackDown, Balor coming over here to Raw, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, I guess a lot on their minds, and in their minds, a lot of similarities. And they're calling themselves the Judgment Day, looking to inflict punishment on the rest of the Raw locker room. They feel underappreciated, undervalued. I can't really say I agree with those statements. I mean, Finn Balor has not had the best luck on SmackDown. Damian Priest may have come up short at WrestleMania, but himself and Dominic Dijakovic, one of the most impressive and downright dominant tag teams on Monday Night Raw in the last year. But nonetheless, Priest and Balor evidently like-minded individuals. Balor may not be out here tonight, but oh man, look at that, another Tornado DDT by Montez Ford. Balor may not be out here tonight, but nonetheless, I'm sure it's gonna be coming the Judgment Day in a matter of weeks here on Raw. And again, Raw management wanna make sure this number one contender's tournament goes right down the middle tonight. Damian Priest out here alone in a singles opportunity against Montez Ford, getting a singles opportunity as well. And still to come tonight here on Monday Night Raw, Another first round matchup in the number one contenders tournament when two individuals that were drafted to Raw from Friday Night SmackDown, that being Happy Corbin, as well as Shinsuke Nakamura are gonna lock horns in just a little bit live right here for the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. As Damian Priest takes control over Montez Ford, also still to come tonight in your main event. One month to the day that Sami Zayn defeated Matt Riddle here on Monday Night Raw, they will lock horns again in the main event, this time for the WWE Championship. Matt Riddle won the gold back on Sunday night, February the 26th in that no-holds-barred matchup, finally putting Randy Orton behind him at WrestleMania. Every man on the Raw and SmackDown roster is getting a few weeks of rest, getting a few weeks off, and it's now time to kick off a new year tonight. And of course, as we discuss and we witness Monday Night Raw throughout the evening, stay tuned for this Friday night on SmackDown for the first SmackDown of the year. Wait a minute, Montez Ford! Hit in the skies over the top rope, taking out Damian Priest. Ford looking to take full advantage of this opportunity tonight. He wants to stand across the ring from the invincible Ilya Dragunov on April the 16th at Backlash for the Intercontinental Championship. And Ford takes down Priest, continuing the fight on the outskirts of the ring. And look at a wear and tear on the punishment. Damian Priest, the archer himself, and Priest trying to get out of it here. Montez Ford luckily avoided the steel steps, but that hip toss definitely not going to do Ford any favors, and Priest following up, throwing Ford into the barricade. As we mentioned later tonight on Raw, we got Happy Corbin taking on Shinsuke Nakamura next week here on Monday Night Raw, however, with the final two first-round matches. We will see The Miz take on the New Day's Xavier Woods. The Miz joining Raw from SmackDown in the draft. And the other first round matchup, Cedric Alexander, who's been looking for a big time win as of late, will take on the former one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. Of course, his tag team partner, Johnny Gargano, getting sent to SmackDown in the draft lottery as well. And now Priest into the cover, off that bicycle kick, will that do it? To move on to the semis, not just yet. It's great to be back here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Rest and recuperated. Now all the stars of the WWE looking to take full advantage of a new year and new opportunities. It all begins right here tonight from Orlando, Florida, as Priest grounded and pound on one half of the Street Profits. It goes for the kick again, and he nails it flush. And Damian Priest, I guess this newfound attitude, if that's what you want to call it, certainly aiding him in offense tonight. Just imagine when Finn Balor arrives here at Monday Night Raw and him and Damian Priest are standing side by side like they say they're going to be. What they are now calling the Judgment Day is going to be able to do to the Monday Night Raw locker room inside of that ring. Meanwhile, Ford not looking to go down without swinging. 
Takes out Damian Priest there. Montez Ford wants this big singles opportunity. Goes for the super kick and Priest just throwing his body at Montez Ford to take him off his feet. And the ground and pound continues in this first round matchup. Ford's going to get back into this now or never. Wait a minute. Damian Priest looking to hit the lights on Montez Ford. The Reckoning takes out one half of the Street Profits. And that'll do it. Damian Priest. Picking up the victory here tonight and will advance to the semifinals of the number one contenders tournament. Where he will, of course, fight either Happy Corbin or Shinsuke Nakamura. We'll, wait a minute, wait a minute. Damian Priest, Damian Priest attacking Montez Ford at ringside. This is the attitude and the aggression that Damian Priest was alluding to. The victory, not enough, and sends a message to Montez Ford. But an even bigger message sent to the entire Monday Night Raw locker room. A new Damian Priest going to be a force to be reckoned with in this number one contenders tournament. Well, the action set to continue right here from a sold out Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. Damian Priest punching his ticket to the semifinals. But it's high stakes, high rewards here on night one of a new year. And here's a man who might be lucky at the poker table, but will he be lucky in the first round of the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship? Joining Monday Night Raw in the draft lottery, Baron, or shall I say, Happy Corbin. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin. Well, as we get set for this first round matchup, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event is Sunday night, April the 16th, live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is WWE Backlash and already signed the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar, the man who defeated Omos at WrestleMania, will be in the house in his hometown of Minneapolis at Backlash. From what I understand, we're gonna have more news regarding Brock Lesnar and the Backlash live premiere event coming your way later tonight here on Monday Night Raw. So be sure to stay tuned for all that information. Happy Corbin in the ring set for action. And here comes a man who is no stranger to the Intercontinental Championship. In fact, one year ago at this time was holding said gold. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. This is going to be a good one here on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. So again, both of these men joining the Monday Night Raw roster in the midst of the random draft lottery that took place over a week ago here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. 25 picks made in total to Raw, to SmackDown, NXT. Random draft picks made as well to see the full results. Go see the replay of the WWE Giraffe Lottery right now. Both of these former SmackDown superstars now grace the red brand and find themselves with a huge opportunity lying ahead. Nakamura, no stranger as we mentioned to the Intercontinental Championship. It was one year ago at this time that he was holding said gold and walked into last year's Backlash pay-per-view as the Intercontinental Champion. So tonight could be one step closer for Nakamura to walk into this year's Backlash event, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Will he do so? We will find out in the midst of this tournament, but he's got to get through Happy Corbin first. And Corbin looking to take Nakamura's head off. As we mentioned in the draft lottery, Corbin may be lucky at the poker table, but he hasn't been lucky in big time victories as of late. Had a couple of month issue with Dexter Loomis over on SmackDown. That came to a head back on Saturday night's main event in February where Dexter Loomis defeated Happy Corbin. Nonetheless, Corbin now looking for a new star here on Raw. So is Nakamura. The only one of these men is going to move on to fight, as we just found out, Damian Priest in the second round of the semifinals. And here comes Nakamura going vintage Shinsuke. The former two-time NXT champion taking the fight to Corbin. Corbin not trying to stay it out for long, going for a couple haymakers there. Former Golden Glove 
Boxer himself, it would have been Nakamura going to the well with what works. Down goes Corbin again. Nakamura, as we mentioned, going to the well with what works there. Any means necessary to move on to the semis. And here's the cover by the King, and Corbin gets the shoulder up. Again, as we mentioned, next time we come your way for a live premiere event will be Sunday night, April the 16th, live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It'll be WWE Backlash from the Target Center in Minneapolis. But tonight is the first Monday Night Raw of the year. We are live from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. And Nakamura and Happy Corbin making their Raw returns tonight in the midst of this Intercontinental Championship. Number one contenders, Turbin, a nice backstabber by Nakamura. Ilya Dragunov went through a war with the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne at WrestleMania to win the Intercontinental Gold for the first time. He's had a few weeks to recuperate from an open wound that he was sporting inside of that matchup from that hard-hitting affair with Pete Dunne at WrestleMania. Now he gets to sit back and watch a deserving number one contender take center fold. Damian Priest taking the win over Montez Ford moments ago to kick us off on Raw. Earned the victory from bell to bell. Not a big fan of the actions after the matchup by Priest. Just throwing Montez Ford right into those steel steps at ringside. Oh, wait a minute, Corbin trying to steal the victory. There's a rope break by Nakamura. And Corbin with Nakamura off. Again, the luck has not been great for Happy Corbin as of late. I'm sure this fresh change of scenery for Corbin here on Monday Night Raw is just what he is looking for. And a win here tonight. Could certainly do Corbin some good. Larry to the back on Nakamura. Will that do it? Just a one count. Shinsuke Nakamura found himself in championship contention recently here on WWE programming. Remember back in January, he went one-on-one -on -one with the former United States champion, other man who has officially joined Monday Night Raw in the draft, Bobby Lashley. Those two men had a hell of a matchup back at Elimination Chamber in Anaheim. Nakamura has got Corbin in trouble. Corbin's on spaghetti legs. Nakamura gets the knee up, and the King Shasa takes out Corbin. And that'll do it. Might be able to count to 20 off that shot. The King of Strong Style coming in hot tonight. A hard hitting affair. Nakamura throwing a little bit of everything at Corbin. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. And punches his ticket to the second round. Well, there's the bracket as we started tonight. And with the results of those two first round matches, Damian Priest and Shinsuke Nakamura will meet in the semifinals in two weeks time. But next week, The Miz and Xavier Woods go one on one. Plus, Alexander takes on Tommaso Ciampa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we said we had news regarding the Backlash pay-per-view, and here it is coming up on April the 16th. A five-man elimination challenge has been signed for the WWE Championship's number one contender. Three men who are victorious at WrestleMania, Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross, and the Beast Brock Lesnar have already been assigned to that five-man matchup. However, two spots remain that will be determined in the next two weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Coming up next week, right here on the Red Brand, one of those spots will be made official. It is the almighty Bobby Lashley, the big man of the New Day, Big E, and the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. A whole lot of meat in that triple threat. Coming your way next week on Raw, who's going to move on to the Backlash pay-per-view? We are set for women's division action right here in Orlando. The Queen of Hearts, Natalia, back in action here on the Red Brand tonight. As she is set to go one-on-one -on -one with a woman who unfortunately fell short to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka at WrestleMania, that being Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch looking like the wickedest witch of the West out there. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Well, Becky had returned in the month of January, punched her ticket to the Elimination Chamber matchup where she outlasted five other women inside that structure. Again, went on to fight Asuka on WrestleMania Sunday for the WWE Women's Championship, but unfortunately, a bit of attitude here from Becky Lynch tonight. Unfortunately, it was tapped out by Asuka. And Becky Lynch, there's a, there's a different vibe about her tonight. I mean, this isn't the same Becky Lynch that walked down the aisle at WrestleMania. It's, there's a look in the eyes of Becky. Quite frankly, I don't know what it is. I don't know if Becky Lynch has gotten in her own head from that loss at WrestleMania or whatever it is, but... Certainly a different vibe around the man tonight. 
But nonetheless, it's all about getting your hand raised from bell to bell. And after that loss of WrestleMania, Becky Lynch is going to be looking to do so. She set the lock horns with Natalia as Monday Night Raw, the first one of the year matter, will continue. We are underway here. And again, a fresh year, new opportunities. With Asuka still atop the women's division, all the women in the WWE are going to be looking to punch their ticket. And as Becky Lynch and Natalia continues to progress, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some news regarding the women's division here in WWE. Following this few-week break in the draft lottery, has been official. The women's division, and more news will be coming out about this, but the women's division has been split up. The women are now once again a part of Friday Night SmackDown. And coming up this Friday night on SmackDown, from what we are being told, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are going to be on the line. Against who, we do not know, but of course, Bianca Belair and Shotzi took down Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell at WrestleMania. And they're going to be in the building this Friday night on SmackDown to defend the Women's Tag Team Championship. Again, more news coming out about the Women's Division in the coming weeks here in WWE, but Becky Lynch, man, taking the fight to Natalya. Suicide to the outside. Again, just a different vibe around Becky Lynch tonight. Something a little bit darker, something a little bit more wicked about the man. Has she gotten in her own head about tapping out to the Oscar lock in Tampa Bay, Florida on February 26th? She's really taking the fight to Natalia right now. Natalia's first match in a little while here on Raw. Becky Lynch most recent woman to compete outside of Asuka ever since the WrestleMania and then of course the return tonight but nonetheless Natalia back inside the squared circle now the Queen of Hearts trying to stretch out the man here could be looking for a submission hold Becky Lynch tapped out of Mania will she do the same here tonight on Raw not just yet there's a hip toss counter by the man Asuka I'm sure is going to be looking for new challengers for the women's championship Asuka doesn't have the best attitude herself but she's certainly not a woman who's ever going to back down from a challenge and Becky Lynch right now making a strong case for another matchup against Asuka but she's got to get her hand raised in order to do so coming off the top rope with that senton Natalia on spaghetti legs there's a counter by the Queen of Hearts down goes Becky Lynch still to come here on mo in moments excuse me here on Monday Night Raw your main event for the WWE Championship. The great liberator, Sami Zayn, takes on the new champion, Matt Riddle. Meanwhile, Natalia looking to lock in the sharpshooter on Becky Lynch. Natalia aiding those submission holes tonight. Looking to take advantage of a possibly weakened mindset of Becky Lynch after she tapped out to Asuka at WrestleMania. Becky able to avoid another submission hold here, but Natalia keeping the foot on the gas. Oh, look at this, look at the strength. Out of the Queen of Hearts, muscling up the man. And a delayed vertical suplex, and down goes Becky Lynch. Into the cover. Will that do it? And the veteran not watching her ring awareness there. It's a rare mistake by Natalia, but she follows it up with a discus lariat. And that is vintage Queen of Hearts. Not going for the pinfall there, and it may have cost her. As Becky Lynch drops her with the DDT. It's a right hand by the man. Oh, wait a minute, Becky going under, look at this. Bit of a manhandle slam variation, and into the cover. Will that do it? Yes, it does. Becky Lynch picks up a victory here against the Italian. Wait a minute! The women's champion, Asuka, has hit the ring, and she's laying out Becky Lynch, the woman she defeated at WrestleMania. She took a strike in Natalia as well. The women's champion's ego is on a pedestal right now. And I think that was simply a message to Becky Lynch, to Natalia, to the entire women's locker room that quite frankly, nobody is ready for Asuka. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship! For the first time this year, it is main event time! Right here from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, the first Monday Night Roll of the year, and the WWE Championship is on the line! It was one month ago 
right here tonight on Monday Night Raw when Sami Zayn, a bite with help of Randy Orton, defeated Matt Riddle, who then was the number one contender in the Monday Night Raw ring. Of course, at WrestleMania, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn with the victory over AJ Styles and the Rated R Superstar Edge in an epic tag team matchup. It was later that night where the original bro, Matt Riddle, finally put his issues with Randy Orton behind him in the no-holds-barred match and walked away the WWE Champion. But per those victories from Sami Zayn, he gets an opportunity tonight. And Matt Riddle's first championship defense is his first appearance since the grandest stage of them all. And here comes the champion. Rolling to the ring in style, the original bro, Matt Riddle. A year-long story concluded at WrestleMania. Matt Riddle pinned Randy Orton after an absolute war with his tape, with ribs taped, with blood flowing from the forehead. Riddle outlasted it all and became the new WWE Champion. The Royal Rumble match winner of 2023 capitalized to the fullest on that opportunity. And we kick off a new year with a new face of Monday Night Raw, and it's that man who is draped in gold, the original bro. And what better way to kick off a new year here on Monday Night Raw than with the main event of Epic Proportions. Sami Zayn alongside his best friend, Kevin Owens. The original bro, Matt Riddle, and the most prestigious prize in the industry, the WWE Championship, is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. It is a big fight feel here in the Orlando, Florida Amway Center, Monday. March 20th, 2023. The first Monday Night Raw of the year and the WWE title is on the line. Sami Zayn, Matt Riddle. It is main event time. And we are underway. And Sami Zayn coming out hot and Riddle catching him with that knee. Matt Riddle with Sami Zayn ahead of him tonight. And of course, we will find out the next number one contender for the WWE Championship coming up in just a few weeks at Backlash when a five-man elimination matchup will transpire. Already signed for that matchup is one of the men at ringside, that being Kevin Owens. Karrion Cross and the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar signed for that matchup as well. Next week, we will determine the fourth participant. But it's Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, and Big E and a monstrous horse fight of a triple threat match. But nonetheless, Sami Zayn and Matt Riddle 1v1 right now. Not really a big fan of Kevin Owens here at ringside. We have seen in recent months, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn aid each other in victories, whether that be over AJ Styles or over Edge. These two men have been at each other's, at each other's side, I should say for the last number of months ever since Sami Zayn returned at the Royal Rumble. And it may pay Sami Zayn dividends tonight, and he may spoil Matt Riddle's first WWE Championship defense since winning the gold at WrestleMania. Going for the cover here, looking for the early victory, but we have seen Matt Riddle go to hell and back, not just at WrestleMania, but several times throughout the last year. He has overcame adversity more than anybody here in WWE, and it's gonna take a lot to keep this young man down tonight. German suplex into the bridge. Two count, but not enough to keep Sami Zayn down. Again, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, right at where it's due. They went to war with AJ Styles and Edge at WrestleMania, and they came out on the other side. Edge and AJ did not go down without a fight, but KO and Sami, just the two better men on Sunday night, February 26th in Tampa Bay, Florida. 
Nonetheless, though, Matt Riddle is in control of your main event here tonight on Ma here tonight on Raw. Excuse us. And again, we will be coming your way this Friday night on SmackDown, the second episode of Universe Mode of the Year. First SmackDown of the Year on the road to Backlash. Stay tuned to the community tab right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for a couple of major announcements regarding SmackDown throughout the next few days. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn off the counter. We're gonna take the fight to the original bro and take away the WWE Championship. The first night back in action. Whipping Riddle over the top rope. Sammy goes for a strike, missed. That time, Riddle counters. Go back into the ring there. A little collar and elbow. Sami Zayn whips him off. And there's the kick for the great liberator. Sami, a former Intercontinental Champion, former NXT Champion, but has never held the WWE title. And not for nothing, but imagine as Sami Zayn gets sent to the outside by Riddle. Imagine if Sami Zayn, one way or another, can get the job done tonight and become the WWE Champion. He will hold the gold, and Kevin Owens will then find himself in a number one contenders match at Backlash. What happens if Kevin Owens wins that matchup on, on April the 16th? These two best friends will be forced to go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE title. Nonetheless, that's speaking a lot into the future. We're gonna get through tonight in Orlando, and that's if Sami Zayn can survive these strikes by Matt Riddle. Regardless of Kevin Owens at ringside, Riddle's gonna be a tough son of a bitch to keep down. Randy Orton found that out firsthand at WrestleMania. Look at this. Whether you like Sami Zayn or not, that's some vintage offense by the Great Liberator. And a lot of back and forth action. High stakes, high reward. These two men know it and, oh, wait a minute here. And this is some of the antics we were talking about. Kevin Owens mouthing off to the WWE Champion, trying to take Riddle's eye off the ball, and it pays Sami Zayn dividends there. Dropping him with the DDT. Riddle on the outside, and here comes Sami Zayn with the Tope Suicida. Sami Zayn can't win the title on a count out, but he can certainly do some damage on the outskirts of the ring as he drops Riddle with another DDT. Kevin Owens may, may just end up being the X Factor in your main event matchup tonight on Raw. I'd hate to see it go down that way, especially after everything Riddle's been through, not just in the last 12 months, but specifically just in 2023 alone. The roller coaster ride it's been for Riddle. Winning the Royal Rumble match, having to defend that right against Austin Theory on Saturday night's main event. All the brawls, all the issues with Randy Orton finally concluding at WrestleMania, you would hate to see it all get flushed down the drain on night one. As meanwhile, Sami Zayn with a swanton from the heavens. And that's gonna do it to become the champion, no. Riddle gets the shoulder up. Sami Zayn almost had him there. Wait a minute, Riddle, look at this. Trying to steal the victory. Stacks up Sami Zayn. Only a one count there. Riddle may have been a little sense of desperation there to the original bro. I and mean, even if he didn't think he was going to put Sami Zayn away, at least trying to get back into this matchup, but miscalculating that Broton, not going to do him any favors. Sami Zayn continuing the fight on Matt Riddle. Big opportunity for Zayn tonight. Again, he has pinned Matt Riddle the last time these two men stepped foot in the ring one month ago tonight. Kevin Owens was not at ringside for that matchup as he was nursing injuries from the prior, or excuse me, from the previous week against Edge inside a steel cage. It was Randy Orton who had reared his head. Oh, wait a minute, Riddle floating bro from the top rope. Excuse myself, cut myself off, but Riddle may just put Sami Zayn away, not just yet. Back to the point I was making, it may have been Randy Orton aiding Sami Zayn in victory, but nonetheless, Riddle's shoulders were pinned by the man he is in the ring with right now, and that could play into the psyche of the WWE Champion. Of course, if he allows it, Riddle, a tough-minded individual. That's how he got through the issues with Randy Orton to begin with. Back and forth we are going here. Wait a minute, Riddle looking to unload some of those vintage strikes. Pulling out some offense from that MMA background. And Orlando starting to rally behind your current WWE Champion. Now Riddle going to the ground and pound. Sora Riddle has learned a few new tricks over the last year and everything he has had to put himself through against Randy Orton. And again, goes for the bro Tom. It's Sami Zayn rolled out to the ring. You see Sami Zayn's not even 100%. Matt Riddle... I think taking a breather in here. And honestly, this is very smart by Riddle. You know, we really don't know the condition. It's been 
about over three weeks, but we, we still don't know the condition of Matt Riddle coming out of WrestleMania. The man went in with bruised ribs after his RKO through the announce table one month ago here on Raw and came out with bruised ribs and a bloody forehead. Yes, he came out the victor, but oh man! Again, had to cut myself off, but what a strike by Riddle. Landed on his feet and that Superman punch by the WWE Champion. Riddle's looking good right now. Sami Zayn is the one worse for wear. Wait a minute, Riddle. Bro, Derek. The move that put Orton away at WrestleMania to retain the gold. No, Sami Zayn gets the shoulder up. That was the maneuver that after a war of wars put Randy Orton away inside of that ring on the grandest stage of them all. But Sami Zayn survives it at least for a moment tonight. Oh, wait a minute, Riddle's not done. Riddle. Going for that submission hold. He's got Sami Zayn all kinds of tied up. He has tapped out Kevin Owens to this very maneuver before a few months ago here on Raw. Is Sami gonna suffer the same fate here in Orlando? It, yes, he is. Sami Zayn taps out. Matt Riddle retains the WWE Championship here on Raw. Kevin Owens tried sticking his nose into this business. Sami Zayn was able to survive the bro Derek, but in the end, Matt Riddle reaches deep down in his bag of tricks, ties up Sami Zayn. The great liberator himself had nowhere to go, and Sami forced to tap out tonight here in Orlando in your mid. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The replay getting cut off because Randy Orton is here. Randy Orton is in the ring and he's ambushing Riddle. What the hell is go- Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton's got a damn table. I thought we settled this at WrestleMania. What the hell is going on? Riddle's down and out. He just retained the WWE title. But the man he thought he ended his issues with at WrestleMania has slithered like a snake inside the squared circle, has set up a table precariously in the ring. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Riddle through the table. I thought we were done. I thought Riddle had put Randy Orton behind him for good. But I think Randy Orton will be done with Riddle on his own accord, on his own watch. And now that the WWE Championship has been taken from the grass of the Apex Predator, Randy Orton will not rest until the gold remains with the RKO with Randy Orton. We need some help out here for Riddle. Game pays on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.